Hi, today we're going to be looking at different types of text that you can put into your HTML web page. Last time we talked about the basic HTML coding, your HTML code, your title code, and your uh, body code, the basic things that you need to, to make a HTML web page. Uh, now we're going to start putting a little more into it, put some text into it, uh, different features of text. So let's take a look at our our computer. I still have our same uh, code that we used last time. So what we're going to do is we're going to change uh, or modify some of our code in this particular uh, web page. We have our sentence in here, the HTML coding is fun. Let's say that you wanted to put a big emphasis on fun, on the word fun. Let's say you wanted to make it bold, okay? the tag for bold is just B. Okay, very simple. As I said before, when they wrote this code, they made it very simple, very easy to remember because most of the codes are in a general reflection of what is being done. Okay, just like in a Word document, the B is the bold button. Okay, same principle in HTML. Then we just need to close our tag. Remember, we have to open and close. Uh, our tag. There are exceptions to the rule that some some tags you don't have to close, but most tags you will have to close. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to save our web page. Okay. I encourage you to save often and check your work often because the last thing you want to do is spend hours on a web page writing in all this code and then you go you save it and you go to open your web page and nothing works and then you have to you have to basically go through all of that code that you just wrote and try to find where you missed where you didn't close a code or where you forgot a period or something uh, minor like that so let's open up our web page I'm going to switch so you can see it a little bit better. Let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. Uh, let's go a little bit more. There we go. Notice that we still have our uh, title up here at the top. We still have our sentence. But notice that our word fun is now bolded. Okay. Just a very, very simple trick that you can use in order to add a little add a little flair to your sentences. Okay, let's say that you wanted to, for whatever reason, you wanted to make the word coding in put in italics. Okay, the code for italics is I. Okay, it's very, very simple, just like the, the bold code. Okay, then we close it. We have to save it. Remember, save early and often. And we'll go back to our, our page. We'll open it up. Notice now that our coding is italicized. Okay, these are two of the more common uh, text tags that you're going to be using in order to uh, put emphasis or to stress a certain word or a part of a sentence. Uh, in your web pages. Okay. Let's say that you wanted to make this this sentence or let, actually let's let's drop down and let's put a uh, another another sentence in. First we want to put a BR which is a break. I'm going to put a couple of those. That way your sentences aren't stacked right on top of each other. There's a little bit of a, of a, of a break in between. So let's write in another, another code. But let's say for this one you wanted the text to be a little larger. Okay, um, The code for that is font size Okay, and then with the equals in quotations you'll put in your number. Okay, uh, It can go from 1 to 7 
Okay, so let's say we're going to make it, we're going to make this one kind of big. So we're going to go uh, 6, okay? And then we can put in our sentence, whatever we want to put in. Um, we'll put in HTML coding is easy to remember. Okay, then what we have to do, we have to close our font. Okay, for this one, you don't have to put in the font size, just the word font. Okay, so let's save it and see if it works. Okay, go back to our folder. And wow, our coding is a lot bigger. Okay, and that's just an easy way to, to make the size bigger. Okay. In this, in this module, this video, we looked at some different types of text, how to make the text bigger. Um, in our next video, we're going to look at our background and to see how we can maybe change the color of the background.